staying in touch no matter where you are. A commitment to world-class communications design. A tradition of excellence built on uncompromised performance and reliability. Meeting the demands of everyday use and sometimes accidental abuse makes Motorola your best choice in cellular communication. Hello? Yeah. For most of us, learning to do even the simplest task is made easier if we see it demonstrated first. So for the next 10 minutes, we'll show you what you need to know for daily phone use. While your phone may not look exactly like our demonstration model, the difference is only skin deep. The steps for operation are exactly the same. Now, let's get ready to use your phone. For mobile use, your phone uses your car's battery for power. So connect the power cord, then press power to turn your phone on or off. Oh, and by the way, never unplug your phone when the power is on. If you do, pre-programmed features may be canceled. As the phone powers up, it performs a split-second system check to ensure it's working properly. If your phone is locked, this is the first message you'll see. Your phone is programmed to unlock by pressing 1, 2, 3. If your salesperson changed the code to a number of your choice, enter it instead. If you make a mistake, press clear and start again. When the signal strength meter appears, your phone is ready to place or receive calls. Before placing or receiving a call, power must be on the phone unlocked, and the no service indicator off. If no service appears, you're either outside your cellular phone company's service area or inside a structure blocking the signal. Just remember, no service must be off to use your phone. To place a call, enter the telephone number. If you miss dial, press clear and dial again. To start calling, press send. If you hear this, it may mean the service system is full and can't handle your call immediately. If this happens, press send again. Your phone will attempt to complete the connection by automatically redialing the number. A ring alert will sound if redial is successful. If it's not, cancel at any time by pressing end. Once your call is in progress, in use will appear. If roam appears, your call is being carried by another cellular phone company. This is normal when you're traveling. But if Rome stays on, even in your home service area, reprogram your phone to select your cellular phone company's service first before it looks for alternate service. And of course, when your call is finished, make sure you press end to terminate the connection. Receiving a call is almost identical to placing a call. Again, power must be on, the phone must be unlocked, and no service must be off. When the phone rings, lift the handset to answer. When your call is through, press end to cancel the connection. Oh, by the way, if you receive a call while your phone is locked, you'll hear it, but you won't be able to answer until you enter your unlock code and lift the handset. When you're done using your phone or must leave it unattended, secure it from unauthorized use by locking it just press control 5 to lock then press power to turn your phone off adjusting volume levels can add to your comfort and convenience with the handset mounted press and release the control button to tell the phone you want to make a change then press and hold the control button to adjust the volume level up or down to raise or lower the volume you hear in the earpiece, lift the handset and use the control button as before. To adjust ringer volume for incoming calls, pick up the handset when a call is not in progress and use the same press and release and press and hold procedure. You'll also use the control button 
for a quick reference check of your own cellular phone number. Just press control, followed by star and pound, to call it up on the display. To cancel the display, just press clear again. The feature menu lets you select which features you want to be active or inactive. For example, if you want to deactivate the signal strength meter, select the feature menu by pressing control 1. Then use the pound key to scroll forward or the star key to scroll backward until signal off appears. Now press the zero key to select signal off. The box shaped indicator shows you have elected to turn the signal strength meter off. From now on, whenever you power the phone, the box indicator will appear, telling you one or more of the calling features have been changed from the original factory setting. If you don't remember which settings have been changed, call up Status Review by pressing Control, 0, 9, and Star. Then press Star again to scroll through the changed settings. Using TurboDial, you can dial any phone number stored in the first three memory locations by pressing just one button. To place a call, just press and hold the memory location key for a second. You don't need to press send. It's important to know that the first position, key number one, is reserved for your local emergency number because you can dial it even if the phone is locked. If you select the signal strength meter from the feature menu, you'll know at a glance if you're in a strong or weak reception area every time you place or receive a call. Simply put, the more bars that appear, the stronger the signal and the clearer your reception. If your phone won't turn on, it may be nothing more serious than a blown fuse. To check it, unscrew the adapter plug. If the filament wires inside the fuse are broken, replace it. While replacement fuses are readily available, make sure the new fuse has the same specifications as the original. One of the great advantages of your phone is how easy it is to transfer from one car to another. And whenever you're on the road, use the seatbelt loops attached to the case to keep your phone safe and secure. If you use your phone as a portable, you'll want to keep the optional battery pack charged. Charging is automatic whenever you're using the car's battery for operation. Or you can use the optional AC adapter at home. Of course, even if you do forget to recharge the battery pack, you can still use your car's battery to ensure phone operation whenever you need it. While we've shown you the basics of daily phone use, there are a variety of features which haven't been demonstrated here. Please read your owner's manual carefully to make sure you get the most out of your new cellular phone. If you need further assistance or wish to offer suggestions about additional features you'd like to see demonstrated on video, how may I help you? Please call the Cellular Customer Response Center. Accessories play an important role in how you use your cellular phone. So for the next couple of minutes, we'll show you a few of the performance-matched accessories from Motorola. Because your phone relies on a portable battery for power whenever you're away from your car, adding a battery and either the AC overnight charger or the AC fast charge adapter means your phone can be ready to use when you need it. A clip mount microphone is all it takes to transform your carry phone into a hands-free speaker phone. Hi. So yeah, you're free to take care of the oh. business at hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm to While the pivoting antenna offers excellent reception for portable use, you can easily switch to an external mount for enhanced cellular performance. Today, total communication means you must be able to send and receive computerized information, even if you're away from the office. And Motorola Cellular is ready with data units that let you hook up your portable fax or computer modem for fast cellular transmission and reception. Motorola performance matched accessories are available from your local cellular phone retailer. To make it easier to tell your store salesman exactly which accessories are right for you, 
we've included this handy reference guide. Of course, if your store doesn't have the right Motorola accessory in stock, just call our toll-free parts and accessories number and ask for Operator 99. Hi, yes, I'm interested in ordering some accessories. A Motorola specialist is ready to take your order for immediate home delivery.